What is up, Sneeples? It is day two of the spoilers, and this is going to be your spoiler recap. So let's get into it. We got quite a bit for Saturday. Let's go. Our first one comes from the Eye of Aphidia, the Frenchman's uh, Meganetic Lockwave. So just like Meganetic Shockwave, but Lockwave instead. Uh, just like Shockwave, it's a blue pitch and it blocks for three and it's a mechanologist action, but it's not attack action. Instead, it is a non-attack action that has the cost of XXX. Uh, which means that it can potentially cost uh, three if you just pay one into the X's. Well, you have to pay three in total or it will cost like up to nine. Uh, so let's read what it does. Target hero chooses X equipment they control. Then you choose one from among them. That hero must defend your attacks this turn with that equipment if available or if able. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that it says this turn. Um, and that it must, uh, you know, block your different attacks, which means that you can attack once, break the combat chain, attack twice, and if it's something that has temper, you just took away its two counters and it's probably destroyed now, uh, which is pretty good. Or if it's something with battle worn, you can put two counters on it to reduce it and basically make it a no block going forward, especially when we're looking at these new Evos upgrades. Forcing an Evos upgrade card to block to get rid of its full block value, uh, especially when you know it might not be the best thing to do. It might not be you know favorable for your opponent to block uh, with that one piece of equipment the entire turn. So I kind of like mag magnetic lock wave. It is not an attack in itself though, um, and it could cost quite a bit if you're trying to get a specific piece of equipment to block. So. Uh, it's a majestic and it's probably going to be one of those like dollar majestics i think it's very niche and situational but anyways we got a lot more to talk about so let's get into it next up from sunflower samurai uh the pablo pintor group we have hyper scrapper uh another majestic here another blue pitch majestic with yet again x in the cost but it's just one x on this one this is an attack action it'll come in for two it'll block for three and as an additional cost to play this, you banish X items from your graveyard. When this attack, it gets plus X to its attack power. If three or more hyper driver were banished to play this, gain six resources and this gets go again. Uh, so a very, really cool card. This is definitely more of a max nitro card. Um, kind of a way to keep yourself going in the mid to late game. And I actually really like this card. I think this card is going to be a three of in Max Nitro. I think it's really just that good. When you're looking to just have hyper drivers kind of everywhere, this has great synergy into it, as well as rewards you for having a lot of hyper drivers in. It's a blue pitch, so it's great in the late game. You, you just pitch it for the resources, see in late game, and you're coming in for, you know, a five go again, which is not bad not bad at all three for five go again in the late game that gives you six resources that's pretty good it's basically a zero for five go again at that point okay from unofficial japan is jpn um this is the winds of mysterious people uh we have rev up back to the commons here we have the red pitch in front of us it costs three it comes in for six and it blocks for three. So here again, we have another mechanologist popper. And this one says, if you control a hyper driver, this costs one less to play and it has boost. So um, if you control a hyper driver, then it's your two for six with go again. That's obviously great value there. Uh, two for six is pretty much the standard. Um, this doesn't have really an ability with it. And so it, other than just like the boost go again, so it's kind of just there. Uh, that is why it's a common, right? Not a rare or majestic, but it is a popper and it is something that I think you're going to want to play in limited for sure. Our next card comes from Card Market. This is Hyper X3. Beautiful art, love the full art version of this card. Uh, this is our first legendary. This is a mechanologist equipment that's for the head. It blocks for one, has battle worn. And it says, whenever you banish a hyper driver from boosting, 
you put the boosted hyperdriver under HyperX3 here. And once per turn, when a hyperdriver is put under this, if there are three or more hyperdrivers under this, draw a card, hence the HyperX3. Uh, to infer that having three is really where you want to be, which basically means when you're boosting, you boost away a hyper driver, you get to draw a card after you have three underneath it. Um, you know, it's a mechanologist item that blocks for one. It's not a base item, so you can't Evo uh, equip into this. Although Max Nitro is probably the hero that would play this and he's not going to be evil equipped, so that's probably fine. This is a card that you'll still be able to play with Nitro Mechanoid. Um, it's still Mechanologist's headpiece that blocks and stays around after it blocks. So I think overall this card is going to see quite a bit of play in Old Dash, in Max Nitro, and probably even New Dash. So very interesting to see where this card goes, but I like it. It's cool legendary and it looks cool. Next up from TCG Runaways, we have Smash and Grab. This is a rare, but so we would probably see it in all three colors here. This version is a red pitch. It is a three cost five attack that blocks for three. And it says if you've boosted two more times this turn, this gets plus two and when this hits a hero, gain control of an item they control. So obviously in limited, this is gonna be huge. This is gonna be a pack one pick one. Uh, there's going to be a lot of items going around limited. This will essentially, in its full like efficiency here, it's going to be a three for seven with an on hit to take away an item and make it yours. So this is quite a bomb, quite a bomb in limited for sure. Maybe a situational sideboard card. Um, you know, I could see Max Nitro feeling okay playing this, but. You know, it would be very situational, I'd say. Like, new dash would have to be pretty big in the meta or something where there's just a ton of items that have to be pretty big in the meta for you to really want to play Smash and Grab outside of Limited. Um, okay, next up from 1-2 Juice, we have TikTok Clock. This is an item, a mechanologist action that's an item. It is a majestic so it is only going to be a red pitch. It costs zero, and of course it's an item, so it does not attack and it does not block. And it comes, or it has crank, which means that you can have it come in with one less steam counter on it, and then you can have go again, if that's the case. Uh, this enters the arena with a steam counter, so just one steam counter. At the start of your turn, destroy it, and it deals one damage to you unless you remove a steam counter on it. When a Mechanologist attack action card you control hits a hero, destroy this and up to two items in the arena. Then deal X damage to them where X is the number of items destroyed this way. So essentially this could be up to three damage as you would destroy your own item. And um, well, I actually, I don't think it would count for that. Maybe it would only actually be up to two damage because I don't think, I think you're sacrificing. What does this say? No, it says destroy this. So it would be up to three damage. Um, you would deal one damage from the TikTok clock being destroyed and you know, two more possibly if you're destroying two more items. That's three damage and that's unblockable damage. That is not even arcane damage. So it can be blocked by arcane barriers. This is basically just damage that will happen. Um, could be pretty damn big. I, I like the card. I think I'm very interested to see where the card goes. Definitely a great card for the mirror, which means, yes, this is an awesome card to draft. This is probably another draft bomb that you'd want to try to pick up. It's really cheap to play, easy to get going, and even if it deals one damage, that's okay too. Uh, it's going to be one damage at your opponent uh, that they can't block, so you got to at least appreciate it for that. Okay, next up from Gorganian Tome, we get quick fire uh a common uh that we have here as the red pitch but this will have yellow and blue as well it is a two cost mechanologist action that blocks for two and the red version has it where it costs one less to play for each hyper driver you control so it could even cost zero the next attack you boosted this turn gets plus four so probably yellows plus three and blues plus two and it has to go again um, what's very interesting is the art on this car card. It has that mafia style um, 
like there's just no way to not see that that's exactly what it is uh, with like a tommy gun and yeah it's it's kind of interesting to see that in the world of flesh and blood but um i'm for it it looks cool i'd be all about it i you know metrics is a city so it's gonna have the organized crime um but as far as the card goes it's it's an okay card it's i don't personally like paying for pumps um so like if it is a zero for four hey that's awesome um a one for four mm, that's okay but like yeah if you don't have a hyper driver out and you're paying a two for four i'm really not for it so uh this card has a range from being very good to being very mediocre all right next up from sloop dupe we have spring a leak this is a rare uh, but I imagine we'll get in all three colors here. The red, the red version is a two cost, five attack, three block mechanologist attack action card that has boost. And when this hits a hero, reveal all steam or remove all steam counters from an equipment, item, or weapon they control. Um, very cool. Definitely, again here, probably a draft bomb. Something that you're going to want to draft anytime that you have an anti mech card. I would hold those cards as higher priority because that's probably going to be your way to turn the tide in the Mechanologist Mirror Match, which in limited in this format or in this, uh, I guess in this set, um, it's all Mechanologist Mirrors. So Spring of Leak, another great card for the limited. If the CC mana or Bliss mana becomes very mech heavy, sure, then okay. Uh, otherwise, it's probably just going to be for limited. All right. Next up from Star City Games, we get Moonshot. This is a majestic. This is another uh, majestic with X in its cost. However, this is just two X's. Uh, it is a yellow pitch, and it is a mechanologist attack action that comes in for three attack and three defense. Now it says play this only if you boosted this turn. As an additional cost to play this to destroy X hyper drivers you control. When this attack, it gets plus three for each hyper driver you destroy this way. If this has 10 or more power, it gets overpower. So, uh, pretty interesting card. Um, you know, you might not always want to destroy your hyper drivers. However, if you have cards that get them back, like cards from Dynasty that brings them from the graveyard to play, hey, Moonshot becomes a great card. Uh, in which case, if you can come in for, you know, like you said, like it says over 10 and basically will have dominate, pseudo dominate at that point. Okay, that's a great game ender. That's a great big turn to help, you know, shift it, the odds of winning into your favor. Uh, I like this card. I think this card's pretty legit. It has Max Nitro on it because it is definitely a more of a Max Nitro card, but. Uh, don't let that fool you. I could definitely see the new dash play in this as well. All right, next up from Fab Open Mike, we get Big Bertha, uh, a common. So we expect to see this in the red and yellow, but they this is the first time we're getting the blue as a common. And so there, it might be just blue, but I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, anyhow, Big Bertha in the blue pitch is a three cause four attack mechanologist attack action that blocks for three it has boost and it says when this is banished from boosting put a steam counter on a hybrid driver you control so honestly this card is very mediocre to play but as far as you know pitching it and hoping that it gets boosted there's some upsides with it so i and it blocks for three on top of it all so I'm really all for this card. I think this card is like just right above average as far as for limited sake. Um, I don't think we're gonna see this in any sort of format outside of limited, but uh, I actually don't mind this for limited. I think it's actually pretty good. All right, next up from three floating, we get the, they, they're the ones that gave us the uh, young Max Nitro. Now we get Max the Hype <laughs> Nitro. Uh, we get to see his adult art and see what his full name will be as well as just to make sure that yes he is going to have 4 intelligence, 40 health as predicted. Uh, keeping the same abilities as before. This is a very cool hero to, to see play. I'm very excited. This is definitely the aggro hero of the set and I do think that he will be making waves into uh, the classic constructed meta 
and maybe even I could definitely see this even you know make waves in Blitz meta as well. So we will see where Max goes. But now we had the adult art, and now we also have his weapon, Banksy. Uh, this is a specialization only, so he can only have this weapon. Once a return action, pay one attack. Activate this only if you cranked this turn. So there's. A lot of cards, the keyword cranked. Um, when this hits a hero, put a steam counter on an item you control with crank. So it's very interesting and it attacks for three as well. It's also a two-handed weapon. So that's all you can have. Uh, now, it's pretty interesting because basically if you crank this turn, you basically played an item and you took away uh, a steam counter. That's usually how you're gonna be cranking. There's a few other cards that just crank that aren't items, so there's other ways you can do it. But most of the times, it'll be you playing an item and cranking it immediately. Um, this is interesting because in order to attack, you need to crank, but if you successfully land a hit, you basically get, get to give that counter back. So um, a one for three with like, ability to kind of replace the crank it's not bad it's not bad it's a good turn ender basically especially if they don't have cards to block with at the end it didn't it becomes just so so nice to work with okay next from uh aki b we have bull bar uh this is a rare the red version is a two cost five attack three block mechanon just attack action that boosts and if you control a hyper driver it gets overpower um, the fact that it has boost and overpower is pretty damn good especially in limited i like this card a lot i would probably have the red version maybe the yellow um probably not the blue blue, blue probably wouldn't make the cut but the red and yellow versions are pretty good all right moving on from february we have the new base equipment this is the Cogworks base head that we're looking at now. Uh, when this is equipped, put a steam counter on it. All these, the head, shoulders, these, and toes, all these uh, equipments that we're gonna talk about as far as the Cogworks has a steam, a steam counter on it when it's equipped. This one says, once returned instant, remove a steam counter from this. Shuffle mechanol, just attack action card from your banish on into your deck. Activates this ability only if you boost it this turn. So. Um, a pretty interesting deal uh, it does not block but it allows you to have um, basically an action with the equipment here we have the chest piece which again starts with a steam counter on it once turn instant pay one or move one a steam counter from it you gain two resources uh, and this uh, these are instant speeds so uh, but again you can only activate it if you had boost that turn Next we have uh, next we have the base arm. When this is equipped, put a steam counter on it. Uh, once per turn, instant. Remove a steam counter from it. Your neck mech knowledge's attack gets plus one. Uh, activate only if you boost it. And then finally, the base legs has a steam counter on it. Pay one, remove a steam counter. Gain one action point. So very pretty interesting too. The fact that that's an instant is pretty nice. Uh, in limited, you're I don't even think there is generics you can have. So you're almost always going to hit on your boost. But uh, outside of limited, these Cogworks base legs might actually be the legs you want to have, especially if you plan to have a lot of non mechanologist cards in your deck. So you don't base. So basically, if you miss, you don't miss. You still get to have the action point. Okay. Next from Tales of Rafe, we have Hadron Collider. This is another mechanologist item. Uh, this costs one, so the new dash can play it from the top. This is a red pitch. This is the common, so the common is a red pitch. And it has crank. So again, it can come in with one less. If it does, you get to have go again, or you get to have your action point, I should say. This enters the arena with four steam counters on it. At the start of your turn, destroy this unless you remove a steam counter from it. When you boost an attack, destroy this. If you do, the attack gets plus X to the power where X is the number of steam counters on this. So it's pretty interesting that basically it could be a one for four or one for three. Uh, you don't really have the option of when to choose it. It's basically when you boost. So as soon as you boost, this blows up and, and you know gives the power. Um, 
This card's very, very meh. I think Dash can use this card to the best of its ability. And I think that's all we're really gonna see. Um, you know, I'll have to see how all these cards look to see if this is a draftable card, but I'm kind of having it just below the middle of the pack right now. All right, next up we have from Fab Unofficial, Adaptive Plating. I actually really like this card. This is a, our second legendary that we got. Um, it has Modular, which is a new mechanic which means it could be equipped to any equipment zone. So this could be your headpiece, your arm piece, chest piece, or your leg piece, which is kind of cool. Uh, it could even be your, I don't know if it could be your shield piece. I'm not sure on that. But if it can, that's even another piece of block. Now, most mechanologist heroes have a two-handed weapon, so that generally doesn't work, but anyhow. Uh, has action pay zero equip this to another equipment zone that is your action point so you just can't you know do that willy-nilly basically and then it has another new text galvanize when this defends you may destroy an item you control if you do it gets plus two uh defense until the end of turn which is pretty good however it does have blade break so you can only do that once uh which that's probably pretty good because if it had battle ward um or even temper and had more than one block i mean that would have been really really good that almost have been too good so uh this only comes in as or with one block but you can make it up to three block especially if you have equipment that's just not going to do it for you or if it means you know difference between life and death so uh i i like this i like this a lot it is not a base equipment so you will not be able to upgrade this one. So probably not a Tecla Vossen card. All right, next up from Carolina Alvarado, we have Gas Up, a Mechanologist action that is a common. All right, it blocks for two, it costs one, and the red pitch version has the next attack you boost this turn, get plus four. You may put a hyper driver from your banish zone into the arena, go again. So, um, again, this is, you're, you're paying for a pump here, a one for four is kind of mediocre, but the ability to bring a hyper driver from the Banish Zone into the arena is pretty legit uh, for limited at the very least. Mm, I don't think this will be outside of limited, maybe, but I, I just don't think so. Um, but it is pretty cool that it can basically be two cards in one. So. I like this card and I would probably draft it around five or six on, uh, you know, on pick five or six, basically. All right, next up from the Pitch Perfect podcast, uh, hoping to get them to be a guest here soon. Uh, we have Recharge. Uh, this is a common mechanologist action. Uh, it also blocks for two and, and costs one. And the red version has put a steam counter on hyper drive you control. The next attack you boost this turn gets a plus four. Go again. So a little similar to gas up. However, this one just puts another additional steam counter on a hyper driver. I don't know if, I mean, I guess with max nitro, you plan to have a hyper driver almost like constantly. So I guess that's okay. It kind of pays for itself in that way. So then it becomes a zero for four, and, and that's fine. Um, you know, with dash, that, you know, kind of, this card really depends on it being good is if you have a hyper driver or not. So uh, that's how I would see it. All right. From Chris Sires, this is the guy behind Fab Unsealed. We have Boom Grenade. Of course we do, because that is his catchphrase, Boom. Um, this is a common, this is a mechanologist item it costs zero and the red pitch version has crank this enters the arena with a steam counter on it at the start of your turn destroy it unless you remove a steam counter from it uh when a mechanologist attack action card you control hits a hero destroy this and deal four damage to him so the yellow will probably deal three and the blue will probably deal two um i like this card again unblockable damage and that's pretty legit especially when you're talking about limited format um i could see this card even seeing outside of unlimited for at least the red version i think it's a pretty damn good card um 
All you have to do is have your mechanologist attack action hit. So if you have a hyper aggressive deck, then this should be able to hit. It would basically be a zero for four at that point. And that's good. That's a good value card. So if you get in with it, it's a zero for four in the next turn. All right, that is it for Saturday. That is all the spoilers we have. Tomorrow's the last day of spoilers and then we get unboxings and then hopefully we get to see what the fable is. Uh, but we'll see. Anyhow, I'm very excited. We got to see the adult uh, Max Nitro and see what he looks like there as well as his weapon. And we're starting to see, you know, some of these cards develop. It seemed like Friday we got to really see a lot of Tech Lovacid cards. Today, a Saturday, it seems like we're really seeing a lot of Max Nitro cards. So uh, I imagine tomorrow we're going to see a ton of items that will work for Dash 2.0. So uh, join us for that. We're going to recap all the cards from Sunday. But until then, keep on fabbing and thanks for watching.